happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be swatching acrylic powders for the first time in particular i'm going to be swatching um the young nails um powders that came in their um their black friday mystery box i'm going to go ahead and do that um so i do have my dappin dish here um i got this from shein love this and i have my young nails liquid here and i'm gonna do the Greg method, you know, where you hold the tip of the bottle to the brush and then just let it and let it guide its way down. So I don't know if this is enough monomer or not, but that's what we have here. And I'm just gonna let my brush rest right here. I'm gonna bring this right here. Okay. I did spill just a little bit of monomer. Let me get that up. Okay, so I was thinking that the Young Nails monomer didn't really have like a high odor to it, but now that I'm sitting here next to it, it is kind of strong. I can't say that it's as strong as the Kiss. Well, it smells like any other monomer, to be honest with you. So it smells kind of like the Kiss one. It is, it's pretty strong, you guys. It is. So um, let me show you what I'm going to be uh, swatching here. I have my Speed Clear, my Speed Blush, Speed White Cover Pink, and then I have their Core White Powder. So these are the acrylic powders that I'll be swatching first. And I'm going to start off with this core white here. Um, oh, this one's not full to the top like I was expecting. Okay. But all right, I still have it. Um, so I do have some stiletto swatch tips here. I chose these um, in particular so that I could just practice my acrylic application. So um, yeah, I'm going to just see if I can get this right. So from what I saw, you're supposed to just kind of drench the brush a little bit. Okay, get it soaked tap off just a little bit of the excess and then bounce, bounce, bounce into the acrylic powder. So one, two, three, hold it for five seconds, four, five, and then place the bead down. Okay. And then you're supposed to kind of chase it and help guide it down and then wipe your brush off as necessary. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. on there okay, it does seem pretty easy to work with okay so I'm gonna go in and pick up another bead I want you all to kind of see what I'm doing here so let me bring stuff down so you can see so again I'm just I'm gonna pat it once on each side tap off a little bit of the excess and then I'm gonna bounce 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 let me see if I can get a bigger bead here Wait five seconds, and then place the bead down. Oops. <laughs> oh, beginner mistake. So let me go ahead and wipe that off. I think I chose too big of a bead. I need to, let me not be too ambitious about that. The first bead was easy, so let me not be too ambitious and just work slowly here. Okay, that kind of don't seem too hard to work with though. Seems like you just have to kind of take your time with it. Okay, let me just pick up another small bead here. I'm gonna put that at the top here. Yeah, I think it works better when I uh, pick up smaller beads. Okay, I know that this really does seem very easy to work with. And again, I'm a beginner. I don't have a lot of experience in working with acrylic, but so far, so good. It does kind of seem just like the video where they say you place it down and it's see how it's running and kind of doing the work for you. And then you just swipe down. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that seems easy enough. <laughs> and then I'm going to just place one more bead here at the top. Let's try to see if I can get a nice round one here at the base here. Oops, the brush a little brush falling off. There we go. Okay, that seemed easy enough to do. Oh, okay. Okay. 
So this is my first ever acrylic swatch and okay. So this is my first ever acrylic acrylic swatch and I can't say I did too bad. I think I did, I think I did pretty good. Actually this side looks a little bit sheer, so let me go in and maybe fill that in a little bit. So this is the cover white here. And this, I think it's supposed to be like a milky white. Yeah, that's cool, I like that. All right, maybe maybe acrylic application won't be so bad for me. Yeah, that's my first swatch, let's go. I'm happy with that, very happy with that. All right, so that's core white. I'm sorry, I thought it was cover white. That's core white. Now we have, um, let's do speed white next. So this is speed white. See how this one is filled to the top? But the, the seal was kind of broke on that, so I think some of it fell out, and that's okay though. Okay, so for Speed White. White. I think this is setting a lot faster than the other one that I used. Okay. It is. Wow. Well, I've already set here at the top. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, so I'm noticing a difference while working with these two. It does definitely set a lot quicker, like way quicker. <laughs> not as smooth as the first one I did. I think I want to try to do just another layer on top here. That's what the, the speed white looks like. You definitely notice a difference in working with the speed colors than you do the core because I feel like I had to work a lot quicker <laughs> with setting the bead down and everything. So yeah, that's how the speed white looks. I'm gonna let that go ahead and set. Oops.
Okay. So yeah, that was the speed white. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the cover pink next because clear is clear. So I wanna see what this pink is looking like. With the, I, I like the cover. I like the cover powders better. Yeah, you have to have a light touch too when you're running over the top of the color. When you're running over the top of the acrylic as well. you're a great teacher because this is my first time ever swatching acrylics and it's looking just like it did in the videos the way you do the bounce 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 to pick it up and then the way you wait the couple of seconds before you lay it down how if you hold it down it kind of runs runs down the, the base of the nail it's it's exactly what you taught us so thank you Greg See that? It's and it comes right off the brush. It's good. He's, he's a good teacher. That's that's exactly what I needed for this. Lovely. That swatched beautifully. So yeah, it's definitely a lot easier for me to work with those cover powders because yeah. Okay, so this is what cover pink looks like. It's a really nice, just like sheer pink color. And then I do have um, the cover blush from the Ultimate Pro Kit, and I just wanna kind of swatch that and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna do that here as well. Ooh, it's such a pretty color. Wait three seconds and then lay your acrylic down. That's what's working there. So I'm just gonna draw two. This is what the cover blush is looking like. That is a really pretty color. Yeah, look at that. Got those nice little sh subtle shimmers in there. 
Okay, so this is the cover blush. This is the cover pink. Speed white. Core white. Okay, so I didn't realize that my camera stopped recording on me, um, but I did go ahead and swatch out the rest of the um, acrylic powders that I got from Young Nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, so I'm gonna go ahead and name off this. This one here is the Cover Blush. Okay, so this is what the Cover Blush looks like. It's very pretty. I didn't add a top coat to it, but it has like a really nice sparkle to it. Um, this is what the Clear looks like. I think this was the core clear and unfortunately um yeah i after i swatched the blush i swatched the clear and so it has like little specks of glitter in it but it seems clear enough this one here is the core white that's what that looks like this here is the cover pink that's what that looks like and then this here is the i believe this is the speed white and this was actually pretty interesting to work with, as you all saw. Those speed colors from Young Nails, they are fast setting for sure, so you gotta work really fast. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think the clear was speed clear as well. Um, so yeah, I did enjoy working with these acrylics though. They didn't seem too hard to work with. But yeah, I am gonna uh, play around with these acrylic powders more, so you all will see more videos featuring these products. So let me know how I did for swatching acrylic as a beginner. Like, this literally is my first time ever swatching acrylic powders and so yeah let me know how I did with all of these do my swatches look okay I think this one's a little lumpy but the rest of them I think turned out well and I think this was the very first one that I did too this was the cover white um, I'm sorry the core white so the rest of them came out way smoother though so I'm pretty proud of these swatches you guys I'm, I'm pretty proud of this I think I did okay um, so yeah I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around and join the happy family I would love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye